Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this red poppy with, you know, white flower field. Um, I don't know what these other flowers are called, but um, we're going to be using acrylics, and the paint colors I'm using are titanium white, cadmium red medium, cadmium yellow medium, phthalo green, phthalo blue, and burnt umber. So, this one should be under an hour. I would think way under an hour, but we'll see. Um, I have a half inch mop brush, a three eighths inch filbert, a three inch, a three eighths inch angle shader, and a small round brush. So I'm just gonna need the four brushes this time. And the canvas I'm using is a five by seven. Um, I have done this one before. Um, I didn't get it out um, to show you, but it, I don't know for sure what the brand of this canvas panel is. I think it's probably a Dale or Rowney that you would get like at Walmart, but I'm not sure. Um, it was given to me, so I didn't have the brand on it. So I'm just going to spray my paint. It'll keep it moist and wet longer. And I'm going, I sprayed my canvas too so that it will flow better. I'm taking my 3 8 inch filbert and I got titanium white and I'm going to put a little bit of green. I want it mainly white. It's going to be a really light color. And then a little bit of blue. And I mean, it's just a little bitty bit of blue. I'm probably really not going to use really any of that blue. So you got that color. And then I'm going to get some brown. And some red. So this is like a more neutral color. And then I'll just kind of get a really light color, maybe with a little bit of green, but it's going to be really light. So I'm going to just kind of go in between with these different colors and kind of just dab the different colors on there. And I'm really not worrying too much about where I put them. Hey! Sorry, that's my dog. She chases the cat around the house. And whenever the cat runs, she runs. So I wish that the room that I filmed in, you couldn't hear it, but <laughs> I can, so. Um... And you can, to make the edges softer, take the mop brush. Don't wet it, but just kind of go in there and just kind of put, make it the edges of all those colors kind of blend together. And it makes it not such a hard edge. So I'm going to take some of this and kind of dab it in there and then switch brushes and kind of see how you just take some other colors and kind of mix them in and then you can blend them out with the mop brush. So it's going to be faster because I've got such a small area to cover. I didn't really want to do too big of a board because we're basically doing the same repetitive um, thing for the background. So if it was too large of a canvas, it would probably get kind of boring because I would just be filling in the same thing over and over again. I'm going to put a little bit of green in it. keep down here wet because 
we're going to blend some other colors at the bottom. So I'm only going like halfway with this color. Okay, and I'm just going to go all the way to the end doing the same thing, but I'm only going halfway because I'm going to put some other colors um, down the bottom because that's where our flowers and things are going to go. And if you didn't see it at the beginning of my last video, the um, rose the red rose video, I put a poll um, for y'all to pick which, uh, I have five choices of painting ideas um, for y'all to pick for February, because um, I already have um, January, this whole month I've got it planned out, but for February I did a poll I didn't say February because you can only type in a certain number of words, but you can go over there to my channel and it should pop up at the top on the rose video that I have a poll. So I'm just going, what I did is I took um, this green, I mixed white, phyllo green, um, yellow, and burnt umber to make this green. And I'm going to blend it up into this other color that I have. So it's going to kind of blend down here. And you're going to see the green start coming up. So this is what's going to be behind our flowers. I feel like this is going really fast. Now, I'm glad because, I mean, I want to show you set, um, every step of how I do it. Because um, I feel like when I'm watching a video, I'm just going to sit down and watch it. I kind of like it sometimes to be faster, but if I'm actually going to follow along and learn something from it, then I like it to be shown every step so that I can learn. But if you're just watching, it can be shorter. I like it shorter, but so you could watch this and paint it either way you want to do it. But because it's a shorter video, you could just watch. Okay, so now I'm taking the phthalo green and burnt umber to that mixture. And I'm putting it at the bottom to make it darker. And then I'm going to blend these two colors together because if you see any of this behind our flowers you don't want it to be like hard I don't want to be able to see the brush strokes that much so And when it feels like it's just making the paint, just it's just smushing it around, then I take my mop brush and I wipe it off with a towel or my rag that's up here because it gets to where it's just making marks instead of blending. It just kind of makes these weird brush marks. So 
I don't want that. I want it to blend together. So I'm going to rinse my brushes out. And I think I'm going to take my hair dryer and dry this. And I'll come back when it's dry. Okay, so now this is pretty dry. Um, there's it's a little wet right there, but um, this part is dry. You don't want to do it when it's drying or else it'll lift what you already have. So make sure that it's dry before you do this next part. And what I'm going to do first is make this background have a little more white in it. Um, so I'm going to take, let's see, you don't want much water in these mop brushes at all. So let me get a little bit of white. Let me see what this does. I'm going to lighten this up, and you don't have to do this if you want to, but it's there's a lot of flowers in here, and back in the background, there's several, there's white flowers, it's just, it's almost like it's, there's like a hill here, and then it goes down, and then back here is still flowers, but it's in the distance, so you're seeing all this white from the flowers, but you can't really tell it's flowers. It's just a bunch of white with some other colors mixed in. And really it's more green in the picture. Um, back here it's got more green in it, but I made it a little bit more blue. So you can look at it as a sky or flowers, but I just made it a little bit more blue because I wanted to kind of distinguish this background from what's in front and I felt like it would be a little easier to do that if you had a slight color change. So you can just put down some color and then go in, in circles and it'll kind of blend it out. And you don't need a whole lot of paint at all for this part. So, just don't use a whole lot and go in these circular motions and then you should be good. So, I was going to say, if you enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel where I have other paint tutorials like this one where you can learn to paint and it's step by step so you you know sometimes you'll see videos that are sped up which isn't a bad thing like I said I like when I'm just watching I like to have them fast sometimes but I think it's nice to have them step by step you should see all the different things that people do when you're learning and this was definitely going to be a beginner one, I would think. If the, the blending might be a little bit harder with the mop brush, but just keep a light touch with it and go in circular motions and it should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to, I think I'm, Let's see. 
I'm going to take my round brush and my mop and I'm going to get a little bit of white on this round brush and I'm going to just tap and do dots and different little shapes and then I'm going to go and I'm going to take my mop brush and not blend them out completely but kind of kind of make it not just a dot I just kind of want to make um make it look like there's some flowers in the back and they're kind of blurred out see how that happens some dots and then blend them out. So now you can kind of see why I picked a smaller canvas for this because there's so many little bitty dots in here. Uh, if you did it too much bigger it would get kind of boring. I mean by the time I get to the end here it's probably going to be like okay I'm ready for the next step but <laughs> you didn't want it to take too long. And this is the back, um, the flowers that are in the back. That's why we're blurring them out. I'm like this. I'm probably going to, might blur out the ones in front a little bit because they are blurred because the poppy is the main thing that we're focusing on. But these are smaller because they're further back. So we're doing a lot of dots. And if you were doing this bigger, it's fine. I mean, it would take you a little longer, but it's kind of relaxing. You can just relax and do a bunch of dots and you don't really have to worry a whole lot about what it looks like because it's going to be blurred out anyway. And you really don't have to have perfect circles. You just kind of dab it around and blend it out. I mean, see, a lot of my marks are not circles. They're like, you see that? It's not a circle. <laughs> but it's, you know, just maybe there's two put together, and so it looks bigger. So you just have fun with it. And you don't have to worry what it looks like. So if you um, stay until the end of the video, um, I am going to show my schedule for January. I've been showing it um, in my other videos too, but I'm going to be doing a deer next week and that one should be pretty fun. Deers are... I tend to have a problem with not making their legs long enough, <laughs> but I haven't done a whole lot of deer pictures. I've only done like two, and they're both silhouettes, so I really haven't, I don't even think I've done a deer that's in color yet, but it should be fun, and I, I'm hoping that I'll get the legs long enough, but I think, you know, every time that you paint, you learn something new, and so in, this, in that circumstance, I learned I needed to make my legs longer. So it looks to me in the picture like the legs are the same, are the same size as 
the body maybe even a little longer. So looking at things like that helps me like compare the length of one thing to the length of another thing and it helps me to get the proportions better. Okay, so we're almost done, and I think what I'm going to do is put some dots a little higher than my green um, so that it will look a little more natural, like there's some stems that are kind of going higher than the hill that they're on, and so they're going over the... hill right there but I really because the, the stems on these are really tall um, but I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to see them but it's good to put things like that in because if you do end up seeing them you would have to like cover over what you did them on top and it's just better it saves you time if you put it in at the beginning before you put the other stuff on top and then you won't have to go back. So I'm just gonna put a few dots up higher. And then I'm gonna blend them out. And I'm not gonna worry about the stalks on these. Okay, so now we've got those back dots put in. So I'm going to rinse my little round brush out and wipe this um, wet brush off. And now what I'm going to do is take my uh, angle brush and I'm going to put in some stalks. So. Some of the stalks are lighter. I'm gonna just mix with this green that we had earlier. Some of them are lighter and you can't see them as much and other stalks are darker. So for this green, I just mixed, I think a little bit more of the phthalo green into it. And then for this other green, I mixed phthalo green, cadmium yellow, medium, and white to make it a lighter green. And I'm going to bring it to the tip by pressing it flat so it's got a nice tip. And I'm going to drag in some stalks and they kind of part once they get to the end. Just do as many stalks as you can. And you really, once you get a lot of stalks in here, you don't really have to worry a whole lot about putting, making them match where you put them because you're not really going to be able to see where they end. But you can see they're kind of like fading out. This light color is fading 
so you really can't even see where it stops hardly we just want to put some indications of some stalks even down here you can put some so it doesn't look like you just did ones at the top and didn't do any down at the bottom few more and then I'm going to take my darker color I'm going to do some of these so some right here So just do a bunch of stems going in different directions. Okay, and then I'm going to make a few of them. You know, actually. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more dots on top of this and then I'm going to put a few more stalks on top and put more dots on top of that. So the more layers of grass and dots and grass and flowers, the more that we do that, the more depth we'll have. So it'll look like these are in front and these are behind. So I'm not even worrying about drying this because those lines are so thin they're kind of already dry some of them so I'm going to blend them out if your stalks if you tend to put paint down really thick and your stalks are still wet you might want to dry them but the stalks on mine I think are pretty dry so I'm just going to go right on top and put some, let's see, put some dots up. I'm going to put some on these stalks, but first I'm going to put some dark color behind so that it looks like it's there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I can try it out and see how it goes, but... Let's see what happens. Well, that's pretty good. Just kind of do these clusters. They kind of do like an arc shape like that. And just the top of some of these. I'm defining these ones a little bit more because you can see them better. But you can kind of blend them out a little bit so it's not such a hard edge. They are still kind of far back there. Okay, and the ones down at the bottom, you don't have to worry as much about. You can just do dots for those. And you don't have to space them quite so far together because you already have those in the back. So you don't want it to look completely white up here because you want to see that green. But we do want to have a few that are 
little closer. Okay, so that should be good for that part. And wipe my brush off, clean this one out. And then I think I'll go back with my angle brush. And I'll make these slightly darker so that they look a little closer to us. And the one, the flower that has the poppy, I'm going to add a little bit of red to my green. And that flower is right there. So there's going to be, that's the poppy stem. And then adding a few other stems. I'm just going to put a few dark stems up front and don't worry about where they end because where they end we can put like a dot of white so that it just doesn't even look like there it ended. You don't want to see that end of that flower. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse my brush out. So don't put any flowers on top of this one because that stem is for our poppy. You can put them, put some flowers on top of the stem down here, um, but the top of that one's going to have the red flower. So actually, I think I might take that same angle brush, clean it out real good because you don't want there to be green in your white and then what I'm going to do is take some of this white and take the tip of it and dab white dots And this is still blurry because the focus is on the poppy. So we're going to kind of blend it out. And these are going to be bigger. That's why I'm using the angle brush for it. So that the dots will be a little bit bigger. And then after I get the ones on top of the flowers, then I'll just put some dots kind of on top of some of the stems so that it looks like there's some flowers, but the stems are blurred out pretty much completely. But there are some dots down there. Some up here. And then 
gonna blend those out. Okay. And I might put some flowers right above this over that poppy stem. Okay, so now we're going to do our poppy and I'm going to use my round brush for this. So I'm going to rinse the mop brush out too because I'm not going to need it anymore. And I'm going to make sure I wet um, this filbert brush so it doesn't get the paint stuck in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I think I'll take some of this red and see, I'm going to see how good it covers. So, actually, let me zoom in on this part. Okay, so now you can really see I've got the cadmium red medium. And I am going to start over here and there's like a petal comes up and ends over here. Okay, and I'm going to take it and go a little bit higher like that. And then there's, I'm going to take a little bit of my cadmium yellow medium um, with that red. So now it's kind of an orangey color. And I'm going to take it and put it right here. And kind of try to highlight it. It's not going to show up very well just yet, but. And then I'm going to take it, put a line right there, and then have it come over. And there's another petal. Taking the cadmium red again, and it comes out and comes over here. I'm going to straighten that out some. Okay, and I'm going to kind of put a hump down right there where that green stops. And I'm going to take my white and my cadmium yellow medium and I'm going to put it right above there kind of blend it into the red so I'm taking the red again I'm going to kind of blend it now I'm going to wash my brush out and kind of make sure that it's blending good and now I think I'll take some of my cadmium red medium and my burnt umber, just a little bit of the burnt umber, not a lot, just to darken that red. I'll put some of it under there. Then I'll take the cadmium red put some right here, some on this side, and some on the bottom of this one. And then I'll take that light yellow white color and I'll put it, oh man my hand is shaking. Like my hand is kind of nervous, I think. It's like 
Don't mess up. Don't mess up. It's so small. So I'm going to kind of blend it out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is take some of my green that I used for the stem, which was the yellow, green, and burnt umber. And I'm going to take that and put it right under the poppy. So it looks like it's attached. So I'm going to take the red and burnt umber mixture I made and kind of Go over it just slightly, and the cadmium red. Just want a little bit of that showing. I'll just put a little bit more of the green right there. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to zoom back out. Move this back over. And it's not, I'm not done with it yet, but I'm going to sign it and kind of let it dry for a minute with my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. And I'm going to write small, as small as I can. Um, you don't want to go under, you want to have a finger's width away from each edge. So I'm just going to sign it very small. And I like writing with these um, pens because you can write so much smaller than you can with a brush. I mean, I, you know, I can never write that small with a brush, ever. So, it should be pretty good now. So, all I'm going to do is take my yellow and go right over the yellow or the white areas. Cover it with the yellow to brighten it up. And then in the darker areas, I'll go over with the red. Oops. I'll go with the cadmium red medium and darken it up. Or make it brighter, I should say. With that. So, take a little bit more of that yellow. Really brighten up. The edges. Okay, that's pretty good. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to see if I can fit this in the camera so you can kind of see that. So these are the ones we did in December. They're all done. And then in January, um, this is what we're having. So we just did the poppy. This is the deer, if you can see that. And then we're doing another bird and the barn and the mountains so it should be really fun and if you want to see any of these or any of these after they come out you can go to my channel and they should be out um, all of them should be out at the end of january so i hope y'all had fun painting this and i hope that you will um check out some other videos on my channel and paint with me even more bye